here. My name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're going to look at solving a system of linear equations using the graphing method. Now, no worries. We're going to use an online free graphing calculator, which I'll be sure and link below for you so that you can access it. Now, I want you to know that I teach in Texas. And so here in Texas, we have something called a star test at the end. And that just means that our kids, our students take an exam at the end and they are allowed to use a Texas testing version of the Desmos graphing calculator. So that's what I'm going to be using here in the video. In order to use this version, I will have to solve for Y in my equations. So I'm going to take each of these equations and I'm going to solve for Y before we go to the graphing calculator. So I'm going to take the first equation and I'm going to get Y by itself. Uh, that means I need to subtract X from both sides. And that leaves me with negative Y. See, notice the negative right there. Can't lose that. Equals, and then you could write this as one minus X, but I like to write it as negative X plus one. Those of you who are remembering the Y equals MX plus B form, that's exactly why I do that. Then we'll divide each of these terms by negative one so that we get Y equals positive X minus one. All right, let's do the same for the second equation. Again, I want to get y all by itself, so I'm gonna move this 2x by subtracting it. And that leaves me with y equals, remember, I'm gonna flip flop it to negative 2x plus eight. All right, so now I have my two equations. I'm ready to go to my graphing calculator. Again, I'll be sure and link it below for you. All right, welcome to the Desmos graphing calculator that is for our testing version. This is the one, if you are a Texas algebra student, this is the one you're gonna wanna practice with. So I'm gonna put in my two equations here. Um, remember the first one was y equals x minus one, and the second one was y equals negative two x plus eight. There we go. Notice how Desmos did all the hard work for graphing for us, and we're looking for that point of intersection. Now, if you'll take your mouse and just hover over that point where you see the two lines intersecting, Desmos is telling you the exact answer here. So let's go back to our uh, problem. So friends, once we've used that Desmos graphing calculator, wasn't it amazing that did all of the graphing work for us? Um, I get my solution from where those two lines intersect. Now, definitely want to bookmark that Desmos graphing calculator so you can continue using it with your algebra course. It is a game changer and it's free. I love a great deal there. So be sure and bookmark it for future problems. Bye for now.